I know some of you might still have a few questions to go, but we'll stop everybody else at the moment. Now, when we're graphing our motion, there's something that's going to be the same all the time, and that is that time is going to be on the x-axis. going to be a displacement time time graph. I'm going to have um, displacement on my y-axis. As I've drawn it, this is going to be zero here. So this is the origin, which is actually zero, zero, isn't it? It's zero for x and zero for y. And my time is increasing positively from the origin, and I'm going to be increasing my displacement positively along my y-axis. Alright, so just say I'm standing one metre from the origin in a positive direction. So that means that, and this, this is time, seconds. If I stand for one second, uh, one meter positive, it's going to look like this. Does that sound reasonable or seem reasonable? But we haven't moved, so our displacement is, is not changing over that first second. Let's just say uh, I'm going to walk um, two meters uh, in a positive direction uh, in the next three three seconds. Now this next motion is taking me three seconds. But I'm already at one. One, two, three. That gets me to the fourth second. And I was at one meter. So now I'm going to be at three meters. So can you tell me about these numbers here? If I've walked two metres in the positive direction in the next three seconds, what does, this is, this is um, a measurement of distance and this is a measurement of time. What could I calculate from that? Speed. I could calculate my speed. And I've also got direction, so I could also calculate velocity, couldn't I? So, if we're thinking of, because this is displacement, we're going to think that it's uh, our velocity. And so for this step here, where we are actually moving, we're going to have our velocity is 2 divided by 3. Does that make sense? Is that all right so far? Yep. Okay, and just say we run back to the start. going back to the um, to our starting position which is zero displacement in two seconds so 
So our motion is in the negative direction. Because we decided that moving away, this was positive. So if we're going back, it must be negative. It's the opposite direction. We can calculate our velocity doing this as well. And because what we've done is we've gone uh, three meters in two seconds. So we can work it out with the numbers in, in uh, our motion. We can also work it out directly from the graph. Because these values correspond to rise over run. Okay, so for a displacement time graph, the velocity I look at this one here, I had a rise of 2 and a run of 3. Um, that gives me my velocity. And my other, I'm coming back. I had a, um, got a drop here, this has gone down 3 over two seconds. It tells me that this slope is my velocity for that part of the motion. Okay, so um, we've got a I just want to probably tell you one more thing. This was a displacement time graph. And so when our motion is positive, we're going to have a positive slope on our, for our velocity. And when we have a uh, negative, when we're traveling in a negative direction, we'll have a negative slope. Do you all remember positive and negative slopes from, from uh, graphing high school? Yep, so when we say a positive slope, that means that as the numbers here get bigger on our x-axis, then our values for y are also increasing. And that's why our line is like that. This one has a negative slope because as our values for x are increasing, our values for y are decreasing. Yep. Now with a distance time graph. Anybody want to give me an idea of what they think might happen or what's going to be different? What might be different for a distance time graph? I'm going to recycle this one. Gradient is the speed, that is true. Anything else? Would the line just continue going because it wouldn't be able to like drop back down? Yeah, we can only it can only be positive. So uh, where is our I've rubbed it off now. Well, where we ran back to the start on our displacement time velocity graph, we don't have direction anymore for our distance and so all we're interested in is how far we went. So it's always going to be positive. Okay, so if 
there's a, if you see a negative slope, then that, that must be displacement or, uh, or an error if you're meant to do a uh, distance time. Alright, so there's a couple of um, questions to do, or does anyone have any, anything to say about what we've done so far? Now, we'll say one more thing. We can also read our instantaneous location. Okay, so by instantaneous, I mean like, well, how far away am I after um, one and a half seconds? Well, I can just read that directly off off the graph as an instantaneous location. Yep. This will also tell me the velocity at that moment. Because the slope is constant, so we know that our motion is the same over this whole period of time, from one to um, four seconds. So we know the velocity at that moment as well. All right.